Today at SIFIT we have an instructional video on how to wrap your hand. First we're going to talk about the purpose of wrapping your hand. The purpose of wrapping your hand is to provide support for the 27 bones that are in your hand. And we have uh, the gloves which are going to provide the padding for your knuckles. So to get started what we're going to do is we're going to take the loop from our hand wrap and put it over our thumbs. And there's going to be a seam. There will be a seam on the underside there. There we go, we see that seam. That seam goes down against your skin. All right. And we're going to turn our hand over and we'll start by wrapping underneath our wrist. And we'll go around there about four times. The number is kind of irrelevant uh, because everyone's hands are different sizes. So you, you'll figure it out after a couple times through, but about four or five times. We're going to try and keep the hand wrap nice and flat so it's not bunched up. And then after we go around four times, we're going to go down and underneath our thumb all the way over top. There you go. So now we're over top. Now from there we go underneath our wrist two times. So we're anchoring our thumb to our wrist to provide the support. Good, we've done that two times. Now we're gonna go up and wrap the top of our knuckle. All right, so we're gonna go around there about four times. We're gonna try and go halfway between our top and middle knuckle. Any further than that and our hands actually um, the hand wrap starts to slip off and just becomes annoying. Good. So one important thing there as we're wrapping the top of our hand and our knuckles is we want to have our fingers spread. The reason we spread them is because as we start punching and we start uh, getting our blood flowing, they'll flow to the knuckles and our fingers will start to expand. And if we wrap them with our fingers closed, when they expand, it's going to become very tight and cut off the circulation. So if we wrap them with our fingers spread, it provides some room for us. All right. Uh, so after you've wrapped the top of our knuckle, we're going to go from there. We're going to go all the way back to our wrist and underneath our wrist, all the way back up now to our knuckle, providing an, there's an X that's made there with the hand wrap. That's going to provide lots of support for the bottom here, right here, of your, uh, of your knuckle and your wrist where they meet. All right, so from there, you can kind of wrap whatever you need, think needs more support. So some people do more X's. Some people like to wrap their thumbs. Some people like the support on the knuckles. All right, so you're gonna go around. I always like to do more X's myself. Just like that. Good. And then key thing is also when you finish up, you wanna finish up back at your wrist. So that way, the Velcro is gonna lie nice and flat against your wrist. Now there are other ways to wrap your, your hands uh, by wrapping through your fingers. Today we're just doing our basic hand wrap. Some people like it through their fingers, some people don't like it through their fingers. Again, and there is your basic hand wrap at Sidfit.